Welcome back to the One API channel. At the heart of whatever we scientists, researchers, or programmers do, there is the math. We might not see it, but math is the foundation of it all. We want these basic math functions to be as easy and as flexible to use. We want them to run as fast as possible, and we want them to be able to run everywhere. CPU, GPU, AI accelerators, everywhere. In one word, 1MKL. In previous videos, we've talked about the 1API components. We mentioned the multi-device, multi-vendor open spec libraries that are arranged in toolkits. One of these libraries is the 1MKL, the 1API math kernel library. 1MKL is basically a library of highly optimized and extensively parallelized routines that was built to provide you with maximum performance across a variety of CPUs and accelerators. There are many functions included in various domains. You can find here FFTs, random numbers, sparse and dense linear algebra, statistics, and more. There are many routines supported by the Data Parallel C++ interface on CPU and GPU. We'll see an example soon. Maybe the easiest way to understand which functions you can use is to navigate to oneapi.com, to the oneapi spec, to one MKL spec. Here you can find the architecture and execution model and all the supported domains. Let's go to dense linear algebra, subdomain LAPAC, and here are all the routines. And if I click one of them, I'm getting the description, the API, and so on. This was a spec. Now I Google one MKL Intel implementation. You can find here benchmarks for specific functions and you can see the performance and how it scales with additional threads. If you're not convinced about the performance benefits, it's a good place to start. And vector math performance numbers, if you'd like to try it out on our dev cloud, just click here and you'll get remote access to code samples with ready install environment. Or you can download the one API base toolkit or only the 1MK library here. Documentation, and let's see the data parallel C++ reference, all the available routines per domain. The 1MKL code is open source, and if you navigate to 1MKL GitHub page, you'll find implementations for Intel CPU and GPU, but also other devices from other vendors. Let's look at a simple data parallel C++ example. The code is pretty simple and portable. You can use the same code for a CPU or a GPU and in the future for other accelerators and get great performance on both the architectures. We'll take a function, GEM, for example, general matrix multiplication. Just multiply matrix A by matrix B. The data parallel C++ interface facilitates device discovery and the runtime manages device offload. So before I call one MKL function, I create a SQL queue for the device where I intend to submit tasks. In this example, I'm just using the default selector. This will find an accelerator if one is available. If no accelerator is available, it will create a queue for the host CPU. Of course, you can define multiple queues on multiple accelerators to be handled by the runtime. Unlike OpenCL, for example, SQL queues are asynchronous. This is a big advantage because it allows me to create multiple queues for multiple devices and submit work to all of them asynchronously. However, this also means that I sometimes have to synchronize the host and the device execution. So here, I'm declaring a SQL event so that the host knows when the 1MKL function is completed. I may have to let the device know that execution cannot begin until the necessary data is available. So I can provide a vector of SQL events to one MKL function, and it will not execute until the dependencies are resolved. Now that any dependencies are clearly defined, I can safely call the one MKL function, in this case, gem, to be run on my queue, with all the parameters and dependencies. And that's all. 
Data Parallel C++ Runtime is managing the asynchronous execution and all I have to do is wait for it to finish. You can find this example as well as many others in the One API Samples repository. Just scan this QR code. So, great scalable performance on multiple devices across multiple vendors. There are many ways to enjoy OneMKL. You can try it out on the Intel DevCloud, you can install the OneAPI base toolkit or just the OneMKL library, and if you're using Intel distribution of Python from the AI analytic toolkit, the optimized NumPy or SciFi will call the OneMKL routine under the hood. Enjoy, subscribe, thank you.